Hi, welcome to this tutorial for J Wildfire, the flame generator. We're going to install Java and then we're going to download the J Wildfire flame generator and get it up and running for you. And we're going to show you how to do that now. So if we open a web browser, I'm using Firefox, you can use Internet Explorer if you so wish. And we type in Java. and then download. This is at java.com. This is a web-based installer and it will install the 32-bit system. Uh, sorry, the 32-bit version of Java. What it does is it downloads a small program then it goes and gets whatever files it requires to install on your system. If you have a 64-bit version of Windows you can click on the all Java downloads and download the Windows offline 64-bit version. You can install both of these in 64-bit. Um, you can only install this one in 32-bit. You can find out which version you have of Windows by clicking on the library, right-clicking on computer and then left-clicking on properties and then under system type it will say either 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm going to be installing both because I've got 64-bit but I want to show you the the differences when it comes to the program or the options that you get with the program so I'll download both of these while they're downloading I'll open another page up, another tab and we'll search for the J Wildfire website. We'll look for the download section by mousing over J Wildfire. We'll click on this one. This is the latest version. Uh, version 65 revision 2 and we'll save that one as well check back here frequently because there are always updates happening um, I will close this down and just wait for those to download while we're waiting for those to download. People that have Windows 8 and they really like Windows 7 you can actually get a little add-on that will create the start menu and you can have this as, if I right click on this, uh, settings you can have the Windows Vista 7 start menu or the Windows XP menu or the classic Windows menu from such as Windows 98 you can get that at classicshell.net it's um, a free app donations can be given as well if you like it if you really like it very useful tool makes things just a little bit easier to deal with I know a lot of people have been having a few problems with Windows 8 well, that kind of merges it makes it a bit of a hybrid I'll install the Java 64-bit while the 32-bit downloads and while that's downloading we'll right click on here and open containing folder and get ready for that I'll just minimize that double click the 32-bit installer shouldn't take very long close that window down now close that window and right right click on the zip file and say extract all leave this ticked and it will open up the folder after it's extracted and 
we go. All we need to do now is click on the launcher. Double click. Right. The Java that I was talking about, 32-bit and 64-bit, at the moment it shows a link, it points to the 64-bit version. If I click on here, it also shows the 32-bit version, which is indicated by the x86. I can show you this in Windows by clicking on Library, Local Disk. And this is for 64-bit programs, this is for 32-bit programs. There's a Java folder in this one. And there's a Java folder in this one. If I were, if I only installed the 64-bit, there wouldn't be a Java folder in this particular one. So I just wanted to show you that. You can allocate more memory, as much as you think you can use. So, I mean, if you've got, say, 16 gig, and you want to allocate maybe 4 gig, you can do that with the 64-bit Java. And we'll click on Start, and this will open up the J, J Wildfire program. Okay, we've got a link to the official website. If I click on that, it takes you back to the website we downloaded the J Wildfire from. Updates takes you directly to the update page. Donations will take you to a donations page and you can give as much as or as little as you wish. You don't have to give anything, it's free to use but Andreas puts an awful lot of work into this program. So show your your pleasure as it were <laughs> with the program and uh, give us as much or as little as you can afford. The, the user community per, um, link will take you to the Facebook page so you have to be logged into Facebook and it will open it up. Uh, the About Us Flames will give you a PDF file and it will explain a little bit like, about what flames are, how they're generated. Uh, YouTube videos will show you how to use the program, uh, create some of the effects PDF tutorials will do the same sort of thing, but it will do it as a document, step by step. Enter will take us into the program. And by default it generates three flames. If you go up to random flames, it will generate about 24, I think it is. I think that's what it's set to in the preferences. And as you can see you've got a scroll bar you can scroll through them until you find a flame that you like and then you can stop double click on it to do a quick render you can double click on the image you can also do the same thing with this little button here you can zoom in uh, I'm zooming in using my wheel on the mouse and double click again and it will render lots of features to play with so download J Wildfire make sure you've got your Java installed open the program and have some fun and come and see us on Facebook okay thank you